Hello everyone. Today uh, I will explain you about web, web services. We all know that web services are used across applications. So they are the main source of integration between different applications. So in Remedy also we have these web services with uh, different operations. We can use them in BMC Remedy to integrate it with uh, third party applications or uh, we can also consume uh, web services from third party applications so we will see how exactly this is uh, normally in a web services uh, we have um, as I said before uh, two aspects one is uh, the consumer the another one is the publisher so in remedy it supports both uh, consuming a like it can also uh, consume a web service as well as it can publish a web, web service which can be consumed by the third party in remedy uh, and uh, with the latest versions of remedy it also supports rest based web services but today we will see um, or we will have a look at a soap based web services so remedy has a f uh, functionality of supporting both uh, soap based as well as the uh, re um, rest based web services so now to create a web service so first of all we have to define it on a particular form so I will say let's say new web service so uh, I have to um, define a web service on a particular form so that uh, when I define a web service and then I uh, publish it to some third party application they can consume that web service and then they can perform operations on my form so we will see these operations so let me say I have this student details uh, form so first of all I have to define the permission otherwise this will not work so you need to define a public permission for web services then uh, you will see we have different options here like this uh, schema um, uh, WSL ports but the main important thing is this operations so currently we do not have any operations on this web service what I can do I can right click add operation so you have these number of operations which you can perform on this particular web service like we have create operation get operation this is for creation of a record in the in the form this is uh, get operation is to get any entry from that form guest list operation means you can get a list of records from this form set operation is a modify um, request and then we have also have this uh, service option so I will explain you um, uh, two oper operations uh, create and get and then also uh, explain you uh, this with an example so let's say if I say create operation so it will add this create operation here then normally what it will do it will also create an XML of the fields of this form so you will see it has generated an XML data type for all my forms so sorry uh, for my uh, this particular form so you can see we have this input mapping and output mapping so input mapping is normally when um, somebody will consume this web service so I will provide these fields to him so whatever fields I need to provide to him for consuming this web services I can define them here by default it will add all the fields in the um, uh, web service in the in the system itself all the fields of the form will be added here then similarly uh, we have this output mapping output ma mapping is what will be the output of this particular request when this request is submitted process successfully what it should return so normally it will return this request ID of that record but we can modify this and we can also add our own element here in case we want to add some other uh, field in case we want to retrieve some other fields from the form then we can also define it here so we'll keep it simple we will only keep it as it is so this is one of the create operations similarly uh, I can also define an operation called get operation so in the get operation uh, now the difference is that you can you, I can define a qualification based on which you want to fetch the records currently um, when you will create a, this get operation you will also get this uh, XML type uh, input and output mapping so you can also but uh, if let's say you want to uh, define a different qualification than this 
default auto dose qualification which is by default a request id so it will match uh, by the request id of that record so what we need to do i can directly delete this and then i can here right click add and field then i can give it a name i can give it any name let me define it as a roll number student roll number i am just taking it then in the qualification section what i can do i can go here <coughs> remove it then i will say student roll number from the form should be equal to then i will define this field from the x path which is this roll number so it will look like something like this so when we will give this web service to or publish this web service to somebody and they consume it so they have to provide a roll number of the student and it will match in the system with the roll number of that particular student in this form and will provide the result i will show you that how it will basically do it so to test your web service normally what we do we have this section here called uh, publishing location so to see your web service you have to just save it first so you have to provide let me do this you have to provide the path the path here and then you have to just save it so let me say test web service so just an example so if i save you this is how the web service will look like now um, uh, we have created a web service so just for an example what i have done i have created two web services here so we will use a soap uh, based client to test this so let me go here you can see i have added this web service this has create operation and we also have this get operation so first of all we will see the create operation so let's say this is some third party client then this is how the web services will look like for them you have to provide remedy credentials here i am providing them and then i will just put these student names let's say Okay, and then I will just run this. So you can see, as uh, you have seen earlier in the web service, we have defined that the output mapping should be a request ID. So it has created a record in BMC Remedy, and it has returned the request ID of that record. This is something to uh, like two zero three. Okay, now let's go to Remedy. So this uh, particular form, I just refresh it. You see, there is a record created here. Sunny, and these are the other details. Student roll number is triple three. So now we have created a record in BMC Remedy form using a web service. Now what we will do? We will retrieve this record using a get operation. I just close this. So I'll open this get operation. So here, I have, I have to again provide Remedy credentials, and then. In the roll number section, I will say triple three, and then I will just run this. So what it will do? It will go to the system, search for a student with roll number triple three. So which was just uh, which we had created, and this is the roll number which has been fetched from the system. So this is just an understanding of uh, two operations of web service: get and create. And in um, uh, you can test this using SOAP. So I will show you how to just add it. So I have added it. Uh, let's say the one which we create. This one. Uh, sorry, this one. Just I have to go, uh, add, take it from here. And then we just have to say let's say SOAP. The initial URL. It will take the name itself. Say okay. So it will give you these operations. So whatever operations you have defined for this uh, web service, they will be available here for you. So you can then test. These are the. This is a get operation and this is a uh, create operation.
this is just how to use it in a soap now i will uh, show you an example of we have seen uh, the, we have seen uh, the operations of sorry we have seen uh, create operation as well as a uh, get operation from memory now using an example i will show you how we can consume web services from a remedy so just for understanding uh, what i have done i have created a uh, student table which is student marks table so this table will store student uh, marks and based on the roll number so i will provide a roll number and then i will provide the marks on this particular table so what we have done on this form submission we have written a filter which is this one so this filter uh, will call a web service and will fetch student name and student class from a third party system so here we are using the uh, remedy web service itself but this can be also a third party web service where we are fetching data from a third party system so here what i have done in this filter if you this is a normal filter i have written this on this student marks table form then execution option is submit then here in add action you can use set field action and when you go to the set field action there is an option here where you can uh, define in, in data in, uh, data source you can select this web service the moment you select web service you get these options of uh, selecting a web service then the same thing we did we did in soap we have to just copy paste that uh, url here and then you have to just click on login it will ask for credentials you provide this say okay and then reload it so when you reload it it will reload the operations of the web service so now this web service is a get operation what i have done i have uh, provided this username password to this and then uh, what we have done as an input thing i have given uh, roll number to this particular web service so that when the the system will go and try to search on that form it will use this roll number then when one once i fetch a result from that form so then i will uh, set student name and student class from this web service details so that will be set on this particular table so let me show you how let's go here let me say i will create a new request so you, you see that recently we created a record with triple uh, 3 roll number so i will just put the marks for that let's say 32 36 and i will just save this now i have saved it if i search it triple 3 you can see it has fetched student name and student class so name this is from that uh, form from this form which is this using the web service here i use the uh, web service from remedy but this also can be a third party web service i hope you have understood what is a web service how we can use it in bmc or remedy so this last uh, operation which i showed was how we can consume a web service in bmc remedy using a filter so this is how uh, the web services work in bmc remedy uh, thank you